five years in the making. The disappearance of a Virginia teenager left a family with many unanswered questions. And now detectives are searching for new leads in the case. Good evening. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Lorenzo Hall. Spotsylvania investigators hope a new tactic might help them figure out what happened to Caitlin Atkins. A foundation for missing people is planning to put up a billboard near her stepfather's home in the northern neck. As Bruce Lashan uh, tells us, detectives hope this will convince him to cooperate. Even if they found her body, that would help you in some way. I wouldn't have to worry anymore. I wouldn't have to think about it every day. Where is she? Not knowing is the worst. 19 year old Caitlin Akins flew home to Virginia just after Thanksgiving 2015 to see her newborn nephew. He's five years old now. When are we going to find her? He asked. And it's hard to tell a five year old. Caitlin was supposed to fly back from Reagan National to Arizona. She never made it to the airport. Her mother dropped her off at the home of her ex-husband, James Branton, who had agreed to drive the teen to the airport 80 miles away. He texted her mother that he dropped her at the Springfield Metro station so she could take the Metro from there. And that's two o'clock and I can tell you her phone was never there at two o'clock. Her phone was in Fredericksburg, it was in Spotsy, and it never went farther north than Stafford. At 7.15, someone on Caitlin's phone texted her mother, I'm staying with a friend, I need some time alone. Call me, her mother wrote back. I'm very worried about you, please call me. Two days later, a highway worker found Caitlin's suitcase, tossed in a ditch, her wallet and ID inside. I just want her back. I want to know where she's at. We all miss her. Detectives say Branton stopped cooperating years ago. He did not return our phone calls either. So now the AWARE Foundation is putting up this billboard on Route 301 between Branton's home and his work. Seeing his, her, her face up there every day, I'm hoping he sees it and has to think about that every day. It's rare for authorities to bring murder charges without a body. And Detective Williams says at this point, they don't even have solid evidence of a crime. But they are working this case hard still and hoping this new billboard helps. Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9.